Howdy, everybody, and welcome to Oakdale, Minnesota, home to the North Tartan girls co-op hockey team. Tonight, the North Tartan gals take on the Raiders from Roseville. Both teams coming in at one and one thus far early into this 2015 season. Alongside Corey Franzmeyer, I'm Jeff Brand. Glad to have you with us tonight. Yeah, it should be an exciting game here. North Tartan girls have combined. Uh, Tartan came off a, a year with uh, kind of a you know kind of an uprising year for them. Uh, you know they were down for a lot of years and they had a really good season and now they get to uh, kind of take the top-notch girls from North and see if they can't build a program here. Absolutely, we talked about it a little bit uh, prior to the broadcast and. A, a good move for both programs. You've got border rivals for many years. A lot of these gals grew up together and then went their separate ways uh, when both teams were uh, had their own teams. Now they unite, and uh, I think it's just only going to rise the uh, the talent level and, and competition and make for a better product long term. Yeah, I think in the in the early days of, of girls hockey, when these two uh, programs were combined, you know the numbers were rising, and and you know they, they felt like they could be strong by themselves and then you know after a few years and you know it's been about 10 years um, since they've had their own programs and now them coming back together I mean I think it's a it's a great move by both organizations and it's good to see that they could uh, work it out absolutely we uh, have the luxury of calling a couple of games here early on to the 2015 season for North and Tartan so we'll see how things shake out as uh, things get underway here Roseville gets off to an early couple of shots on net Testing the North Tartan goaltender. So far, she's been solid. Play down behind the net as Roseville looks to set up their offense. North Tartan trying to break out of the zone. Pass out through the middle, picked off, shot right on, and a nice save there by goaltender Campbell for North Tartan. Yeah, Madeline Campbell was the Tartan goalie last year. She was 16 and 9 with a 1.7 goals against and 93 percent save percentage. Um, so she had a really good year for that young Tartan team and um, she'll be split in time throughout the season with Merritt Larson who is North um, goalie last year and you know the numbers don't show it but um, you know I think the talent level that Tartan has compared to North kind of gave the uh, Campbell the benefit but the both girls are getting the opportunity to uh, to kind of split time and, and, and kind of play the hot hand so it's kind of a luxury for uh, for, for the uh, Tartan North coaches. Absolutely. We had an opportunity to sit down with the co-op head coaches, Allie Thunstrom from the North St. Paul alma mater, and then Nick First uh, with the Titans, and they touched on just that and catch that on our sports path that airs tomorrow night. Back the other way, Roseville comes into the zone. It's turned over there nicely by defenseman Jackson for North Tartan. Back behind her net, taken down, no call on the play, an opportunity here, just off the mark. Puck trickles into the corner, and sent back in, they'll have to tag up. Icing's called on the play. Yeah, Roseville and, uh, and, no, and Tartan met last year in the first round of sections, and Roseville, you know, handily beat them 5 nothing. Um, but, you know, just it, it just shows that, you know, I mean, there's a little bit of history here, and. and and uh, some of these girls are familiar with each other, so it um, should be interesting to see how it plays out. Early on here, Roseville's had uh, the majority of the shots. North Tartan looking for their first shot attempt there is blocked down by the defender for the Raiders as they break out of the zone, sent cross ice onto the tape of Garvin. She comes in, shot didn't quite make it in on Campbell as it trickles into the corner. Garvin in the corner, sets up. Passed over to Wall, now back to Garvin. And the puck on the half wall turned over. Jackson sends it behind to D Parker as North Tartan looks to break out. Up and across the ice, far side. Bit of an opportunity there, turned over by the Raiders. Now at neutral ice here, and it's sent back to the defender, Destad as she sends it up. Shot right on, and Campbell corrals. Quick stoppage in play. 14.07 left here in the opening period. And as we touched on, we had an opportunity to talk to the co-op head coaches. 
about uh, the upcoming transition of two schools coming together. All the challenges and benefits that come with that. We'll touch on that in just a little bit here. Roseville off the half wall, unable to get to the net. And on the far side, this is Abraham battling there. Puck pops out of play. Back to the interview, I said we had an opportunity to sit down with the co-head coaches and talk to them about just the transition of coming together, uniting now as a co-op team. I think it's been, to be honest, it's been really good. Uh, better than expected. Uh, the girls, I mean, as most people know, they play together in the youth levels with Northeast Metro Stars merged together, and then they disperse at the high school level. So it's kind of a no-brainer for us to merge back together. And, and when we did, the girls got along really well. Things have been going great. Um, I'm sure there'll be some bumps along the road, but so far it's been going really good. Yeah, welcome back here as Puck shot down into the corner. North Tartan looking to establish some offense here. It's been all Raiders thus far as the puck all the way down. This one will go for icing. Yeah, we haven't touched on the uh, Roseville goalie, uh, Karina Pearson, but um, she's a senior and she played behind a uh, senior goalie last year and she only had a couple opportunities to play last year, performed well, and now she gets her opportunity here in the 2015-2016 campaign for the Roseville Raiders. Yet to face a shot here early on as the Raiders have been applying most of the offensive pressure. North Tartan early into this campaign trying to get a feel for some of the new faces. Tipped out front, never made it to the net. A good opportunity there as Gaffney hustles in hard. Now back the other way, North Tartan into the Raiders' end, and it's turned over nicely there. Yeah, it was a nice opportunity by Madison Gaffney there. She scored a goal in the uh, Raiders' first game against uh, Grand Rapids Greenway. Opportunity here, trickles through the crease. Knocked away nicely there as the senior captain, Nicole Abraham, applied the pressure for the Raiders. And thus far, the senior goaltender, Campbell, has been looking good here early on in the shots that she's faced. Out of the corner, makes it all the way back to Abraham. Shot right on, big save by Campbell. Now back to the point. Shot on, tipped out front. Campbell again steers it into the corner. North Tartan looking to clear the zone here as the Raiders continue to apply pressure. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see how Madeline Campbell responds to kind of the split duties unless she takes charge of this uh, starting job with the, this new co-op team. But she started every game for the Tartan Girls Titans last year. And now she's kind of has to, has to share the uh, playing time. So we'll see how that affects her. Abraham nearly turned it over, able to hold it in as Gaffney behind her own end cycles down. Back to Gaffney and out of the corner. And she turns on the brakes. Turned over here, North Tartan looking for a clear, and it's held in there by the Roseville defense. Gaffney tries to play it deep. That's now to either able to send it through neutral zone, played off the Raiders' stick, so icing called off. Back to play it is Larson. Larson puts on the reverse, a turnover, opportunity. First shot on net was a good one. But the goaltender, Pearson was there to collaborate that one. Let's take another look. And you can see there just the first shot that Pearson had to face. And sometimes, Corey, a, a goaltender that doesn't see a lot of action, sometimes those are the, the most dangerous. Oh, absolutely. When you're kind of sitting there and watching all the action on the other end of the ice, all of a sudden, all of a sudden, you know, girls start to come skating hard down on your end, and it kind of, kind of catches you on the on the heels of your, uh, your feet a little bit, and you know that's where um, kind of accidents happen, and maybe uh, an easy one gets tapped in. Now North Tartan on the other end here, trying to apply a little bit of offensive pressure as they have established the zone. 
Back to play it for the Raiders is Capetti. And she reverses. It's held in nicely by Hanahan. And now on the half wall, Hanahan sends one in, easily steered away by Pearson. Now off, down into the corner, no call on the play. And on the half wall, Langevin battling there and sent in deep by the Raiders' Larson as they elect to change. And now out of her own end, through neutral ice. Still holding on to it. This is Piercy, sends it in deep. North Tartan in on the forecheck. And on the half wall, Young sends it low. And Abraham, the senior captain, is there to establish the breakout. Far side off the mark. Opportunity here for North Tartan sent in. Didn't get all of it on that one, but a good opportunity is in deep with Schiller for North Tartan. Let's take another look. That was Jordan Jackson that almost had the tip in there, and she's a senior forward from uh, Tartan who had 10 goals and six assists last year for the uh, Tartan girls team and um, has got one goal, one goal early on the season here for the uh, North Tartan co-ops. Now back the other way here, Roseville looking to break out, and this is Jackson again. Looks like she's been converted to defense here, maybe with the uh, with the merger there. Probably a two-way player, and I'm assuming asked to play multiple roles. And back to play it for North Tartan. This is Schiller. Schiller sends it up the half wall as North Tartan looks to break out. A nice move here. As that was Hawkins for North Tartan. Now Roseville sends it in deep and gives chase in hard after it is Arnold for the Raiders. Set down back into the corner for Arnold. And turn back the other way. This is Bellos. And North Tartan on the breakout. A nice shot there by Warner, head manning the puck. Up to Meter. Meter sends one in, tipped out front, bounced around, unable to get a stick on it was Warner. And now Roseville back the other way. As Gaffney for the Raiders. Key player to watch. Gaffney in hard. And across center ice, Gaffney with a shot right on and a huge save by Campbell. Yeah, Madeline Campbell's done a real nice job. I mean, they're getting out shot uh, seven to four, but the puck's been in in the north zone most of the first period here. I mean, that was a great uh, save and didn't let an easy one slip by her. Yeah, we talked about Gaffney being such an electric player, one of the top forwards for this Raider yeah. squad here this year. Yeah, last year as a sophomore, she had um, 12 goals and eight assists, and she's got one goal early on here this season. So, and she's only a junior, so there's still a lot of high school hockey career left for, for this young lady. North Tartan sends it all the way down. This one will go for icing. 7.47 left to play. Raiders with the shot lead thus far at seven to four. The North Tartan starting to come into their own a little bit here as they kind of weathered the early storm by the Raiders. Yeah, I think it's uh, just a case where two teams are feeling each other out early on in the season, and, and Roseville, you know, has kind of dominated, uh, you know, keeping it in, in North Tartan zone, but um, I think, but uh, when North Tartan girls have had their opportunities, they've definitely put a couple, some nice shots on net, so I mean, they're, you know, they're taking their opportunities and, uh, you know, making good use out of them. Another huge save by Campbell as Izzy Larson sent the one-timer in for the Raiders, and Campbell was there to glove it. Face-off won by the Raiders as Abraham sends it in deep. Now out of the corner, knocked away. And through neutral ice here. And back, this is Abraham again. She sends it around, and Riley picks it up there. Back for North Tartan. 
is Kalshaw Klein in the corner. Well, out of the corner, that one never made it on to Campbell. And it's kicked back to center ice. And that one shot out of play. Faceoff will come at center ice here. Yeah, that was number nine for North Tartan, Lily Lang and uh, uh, Langevin on the chase there and couldn't quite, uh, you know, catch up to the puck and get a breakaway. But uh, she was the leading scorer for the uh, North girls last year with uh, 15 goals and seven assists on the that two and 21 club. So I'm sure the uh, the the Tartan girls that uh, were returning from last year's quality club are more than happy to have an extra score on their team here this year. Certainly. As North Tartan looks to break out of the zone here, once again, Gaffney tries to make her way to center ice. It's knocked off there, played down into the corner. This is Arnold that sends one out. All the way back, tipped on out in front. Campbell with a big save. He's been tested quite a bit here early on tonight and was, has been there to stop all of them thus far. Nine shots here thus far for the Raiders as Shot number 10 is corralled up nicely by Madel Madeline Campbell. Yeah, one thing you've seen out of uh, Campbell this evening is she's taken a lot of shots, 10 shots so far, but a lot of composure. I mean, not, not, nothing, no rebounds. I mean, everything, everything's just getting stopped on the first shot, and, and we're getting a fresh face off. So, I mean, like I said, a lot of poise out of that uh, young lady this evening, and um, she could be the difference maker in this game. Face off won by the Raiders, but quickly turned over. North Tartan back the other way. In hard of the zone, knocked off for stick and back the other way for the Raiders is Wall. Wall through center ice, shoots one on and Campbell's there to shut the door yet again. And you touched on it, Corey. She's, uh, as you take another look here, her, her angles have been spot on and certainly gotten the it's going to be interesting to see if uh, any of these Roseville girls can challenge her up high at all because she's pretty much had everything out in front of her on lockdown. So it'll be interesting if she can make that adjustment once they start uh, raising the puck a bit. Battle in the corner here, won by the Raiders. They try to make it away out front. Nice defensive play by Schiller. Schiller here will send it back behind the North Tartan net. As North Tartan looks to break out through center ice. And turned over there, back the other way comes the Raiders. And that one might have hit one of the players on the North Tartan bench. And we'll have another face-off at center ice here. 5.33 left to play, first period. Tartan Arena, half home, you could say, to the new North Tartan co-op. Yeah, sounds like they're gonna be kind of splitting their home games. You know, the half their home games at the Arena at um, North High School and the other half here. So, I mean, it kind of, I think it's kind of nice kind of bringing the whole, you know, they're the, the same school district, kind of bringing the whole kind of East Metro area here together and, and see if they can build a strong women's program. Beautiful move there as in nicely was Jordan Jackson with a beautiful move, but unable to beat senior goaltender. For the Raiders, you take another look here, Corey, at Jackson. Yeah, she's had a couple real nice opportunities this evening, and you know she's a senior um, returner from Tartan here. And um, like I said, she, she's, when she's had her opportunities, she kind of skates above and beyond the rest of the girls on the ice. And Pearson was there to stop the play. Another opportunity here, knocked down in front, never made its way there. Once again, that was Jackson. Back the other way, Gaffney for the Raiders. Sends one in. A nice job there by Campbell to tip it aside. Puck goes up into the netting, so we have a stoppage in play. I think one thing we can, uh, you, folks at home can kind of notice is the North Tartan girls are probably kind of getting used to the gelling a little bit. Their, their opportunities are a lot of just one person skating and shots with, you know, Roseville's kind of skating around. They've played together longer, and they're kind of developing their plays more than than kind of the uh, kind of one-shot wonders that the North Tartan girls are doing right now. Face-off once again won by the Raiders. They've controlled the majority of the face-offs here early on tonight. But North Tartan is able to defend here as 
battle on the half wall. Raiders come out with it. It's sent out front, never made its way to Campbell. Back behind the net. And now North Tartan looks to break out. Good defensive play by senior Nicole Abraham. She sends it cross ice. This is Arnold. And Arnold loses it there at center ice. Sent in far side, North Tartan's meter. Sends one in into the far corner. Arnold back behind the net to Abraham. Up to Gaffney. And Gaffney loses the handle. She sends one in and the Raiders will change. Back the other way for North Tartan. Into the zone with speed. This is Colbeck and she sends it down and around. Langevin. And now Grace gives chase. Back for the Raiders, played up was Izzy Larson and held in nicely there by North Tartan's Colshaw Klein. Now across center ice, the Raiders come in. We're gonna have our first power play tonight and it's gonna go the way of the Raiders. Yeah, it's gonna be um, interesting to see uh, watching the, the North Tartan girls um, fight off this this power play here, I mean, if Roseville's dominated that end of the ice, and now they're, um, now they got the, the numbers. So, I mean, it's gonna be interesting to see if they can, you know, keep the puck out of here, and if um, Madeline Campbell can continue to stay hot. Marissa Hawkins is called for hooking on the play, as Jolie Garvin for the Raiders came in with some speed, and Hawkins' only chance was to pull her down. Opportunity the other way. A good hustle play there by Kialkas. Yeah, that would have been a good opportunity there to possibly kind of go for the puck on that one. Then she went for the body and Rosa was able to take um, take advantage back. But um, she uh, Kolkas had an interesting opportunity there to kind of maybe maybe take a stab at the puck and get a kind of shorthanded opportunity there. Back the other way, the Raiders set up the power play as a little bit of pitch and catch here. Sent in, a screen on Campbell, but did a nice job of redirecting that one into the corner. Kolkis sends it all the way down the length of the ice, and she'll get off for a change. Good penalty kill thus far for North Tartan. As Nicole Abraham, senior captain, back for the Raiders, out from her own end. Larson far side off the mark for Gaffney. North Tartan sends it back to neutral ice. Abraham in. And able to get inside was Riley. Riley on the half wall. And there's our shot and the goal. The Raiders strike first and a power play goal. Yeah, that was a great setup by Allison Riley. Dish it off to Kiara Colbert and that was a Easy goal, and that's kind of what we said earlier there, Jeb, was, um, you know, as we said earlier, you know, what's um, Campbell going to do when they challenge her up top a little bit? And that was the first shot she's seen above her waist, and Covert was e easy to put in, the easy snipe top right corner. And a nice job, like you said, by Allison Riley to, to find Colbert coming in with some steam and certainly caught Campbell off guard there, so... The Raiders strike first, just under two minutes left to play, opening period. one nothing Roseville. Jordan Jackson, who's been very present thus far for North Tartan, throws one in. Here she is again on the, the pick. Jackson across center ice, sends it down low, shot. Great opportunity for North Tartan. But Piercy was there, Pearson, excuse me, there to make the save. Great. Yeah, that was a great scoring chance there by, by North Tartan, probably the best one they've had so far. North Tartan comes out with a little bit of jump here after they give up the first goal here. They battle in the corner, hard out of the corner. Kielkos unable to come up with it. And on the far wall now, held in there nicely by Bigley. Now the Raiders through neutral zone. In with some steam, this is Wall. Wall sends one in, knocked down in front by North Tartan. And back to play it. 
is Capetti. Capetti again through neutral zone, just off the mark. Battle on the half wall here is Bellos. Bellos with a nice move. That one never made it to the net. Jackson again, Bellos. Bellos is looking for a teammate, but unable to get it to her, and back the other way for Colvard, the only goal scorer thus far, sends it in wide of the net. And this is Jordan Jackson again. Jackson with a nice outlet pass. Off the stick of Warner, but turned over there by the Raiders. Now through center ice, it's sent all the way in. No icing, and that'll do it at the end of one. Yeah, it's, a Ro it's been all Roseville this evening there, Jab. Um, this was uh, Jackson on their one nice uh, opportunity they had there, and just the net, uh, goal goaltender Pearson just had that all, all clogged up there. But, um, yeah, yeah, it's been all Roseville uh, so far this evening, Jab. Um, I think uh, Tartan, North Tartan's going to have to figure out a way to kind of create some more scoring chances, and hopefully Madeline Campbell can continue to uh, stay hot this evening. So after one, the Raiders lead it one to nothing. We'll be right back after this. Everywhere that we go, he makes people laugh and makes people smile, and I feel like I have that quality. He's the one who always takes me fishing. I watch golf with him. And <laughs> I watch him cook, because when I grow up, I want to be a cook, too. Me, how does they have faces like this? Dad is the one, when you fall, that picks you up. That unconditional sense of presence and um, reassurance is really what makes him my father. Yeah, welcome back as we get the second period underway. The Raiders lead it thus far, 1-0. On a goal by Colvard for the Raiders late in the first period. But the North Tartan East Metro Stars had finished the end of the first period, Corey, quite nicely with some late pressure. Yeah, yeah, they put had a couple real nice scoring chances there towards the end, and it's always good for a coach to see an opportunity here goes off the crossbar for the Raiders. A good break there by Campbell. There's a nice two-on-one opportunity for the Raiders. Campbell made the initial save and the rebound attempt up and off the hard iron. This one shot hard and over the net. A nice chance there by Colvard. Game's only scorer thus far. Yeah, as I was uh, saying there before, the uh, North uh, scoring chance, or Roseville scoring chance, was um, you know it's always good for a coach to see when a, when his team gives up a a goal and a lead you know how they respond and you know North kept skating hard and fighting right up to the to the first period whistle and um, you know I think that's a lot of the reason why this game still won nothing for how hard these uh, girls are skating this evening and and uh, the fine play of their goaltender Madeline Campbell meter in the corner for the star sends it back shot fanned on a bit there by Piercy. And now Gaffney for the Raiders sends it in and gets off for a change. Fresh legs for the Raiders as the Stars break out. This is Piercy. And she comes up through neutral ice, sends it in deep. And back to play it for the Raiders. This is Wall behind her own net. As the Raiders break out, pass off the mark there. This one's going to go for icing. Yeah, as you were saying, uh... Kira Colvard's uh, first period goal was her first goal on the season. She was assisted up by um, Allison Reilly, who's. Oh, I'm going to take a look here. Right off the top post there, Jab, and that was um, Madeline Campbell dodged the bullet there, and so did the uh, North Tartan Stars. Back to what you were saying, a nice pass by Reilly for Colvard's goal early in the first period. Yeah, she scored two big goals um, over the weekend against Colt K. Esco Carlton for the uh, easy 3-0 victory for the Roseville Raiders. And um, now she's added assist on it, so she's off to a real nice start to, to the early season for the Raiders. Shot right in on Campbell as Campbell holds on. It's Destad with a nice 
Shot from the point, traffic out front, but Campbell did a nice job of corralling that one. Now both teams come in with one win and one loss thus far. The North Tartan, North Tartan Stars, excuse me, fell to the Burnsville Blaze in a 3-1 loss to start their season, but then rebounded nicely with an overtime win over the weekend. Yeah, and that was um, North St. Paul's uh, senior Lily Langenville that scored that overtime winner for them uh, over the weekend. So they're definitely coming into this uh, third game of the season with some momentum. Shot here at an awkward angle. Campbell's there to hold. This one tapped up. Bounced around and never made it in. Back the other way. This is show cause for the Titans as she gets, tries to get around Abraham, but the senior defender is there to head man the puck. Yeah, Maddie Chokas definitely isn't the uh, the biggest girl on the ice, but um, as you can see there, is, um, she's definitely got a lot of heart and makes up for her size with uh, her ability to skate out there. Well, big lead for North Tartan down behind the net. Battles with Abraham. It's Abraham up the half wall. This one is bounced around. Icing waved off. Jordan Jackson back for the Stars as she breaks it out. Jackson up through neutral zone. And that one off the skate of her own teammate there. Caught the skate a meter. No harm there, though, as everyone's able to get back. Now on the half wall, a shot right in, and Campbell is able to glove it down. Yeah, like I said, Jeff, she's done a real nice job this evening. Um, everything kind of below her waist and kind of, you know, shifting back and forth and kind of having those instincts of, you know, where the puck's going to go. But like I said, as she keeps seeing more pucks this evening, you know, and they start getting up in the air and she keeps staying down, it could uh, be disastrous for the North Tartan girls this evening. Face-off one again by the Raiders. Gaffney's shot is tipped into the corner. Jackson loses it out front, but onto the stick of the Stars. Stars come in, three on two, shot thrown in and knocked down by the Raider defense. And this is Jackson from the slot. That one never made its way in on Pearson. Yeah, that would have been an opportunity there for the uh, for the Stars here to kind of come in. And I wish they would have made an extra pass there on that one instead of just trying to dump it in. That was their first time they really came across ice with the numbers. Shot up high here by Gaffney, who's always dangerous anywhere inside the circles there. But Campbell able to get a shoulder on it and hold on for the stoppage in play. Now here's the scoring chance here. Yeah, Campbell for the first time this evening had to use her head on one there. Bounced off the uh, helmet. She was able to jump on top. Abraham sends one in. Knocked down by the Stars. Now back behind the Stars net. This one's up through center. Abraham back to play it for the Raiders. Behind her own net. Sends it around. And now... As they come out, two on one here for the Raiders. An opportunity sent right in, and Campbell again is there to shut the door. Nice job squaring up for that one. Yeah. Madeline Campbell's not letting up this evening. She keeps you know, taking everything in stride, and like I said, 23 shots on goal this evening. Not even halfway through the second period, only giving up one goal. She's definitely kept this team in the game this evening. Face off again, one by. Roseville, that one bounced around a bit, but Campbell able to jump on it. Yeah, when a goalie's getting outshot like this uh, in any given game, it doesn't matter what level, you know, it's, I think you start to play back on your heels a bit because, you know, your room for error just keeps, you know, growing, you know, those percentages. So it's, I mean, like I said, 24 shots and giving up one. And like I said, she kind of hesitated with that last shot. And that's the first time I've we've seen her really Battle take out. charge on a shot. Battle out front there. Campbell's able to jump on it. One thing I know the, uh, the Stars are definitely going to need to work on here is this. They're pretty early into the 2015 season, but the face-off percentages tonight have been heavily favored in the way of the Raiders, and it's led to multiple scoring chances. If it wasn't for Campbell's strong play, this could be a much different score. Back the other way, this is the quick Chobos back. 
knocked off the puck there. And now an opportunity, a spin and shot never made its way on to Pearson. Yeah, when you uh, chatted with the assistant coach for the Stars, uh, Luke First, you know, it was pretty simple. He said, win face-offs and, and get shots on goal. And um, they haven't really been able to do it, but fortunately they got a hot goaltender in that, and she's been able to keep them in this game. Now the Stars look to break out through center ice. That one off the mark for Choklaus. Now Roseville tries to turn her back the other way here. Out front, a nice tip effort there, but never made its way in on Campbell. And back for the Raiders up top. This is Gaffney down low behind the net. Gaffney looking to set up. Out there. Good opportunity there, but unable to get any wood on it was Colvard. And Campbell easily covers. Again, yeah, anytime, you know, Colvard can get a stick on the puck, you know, she's got an opportunity to score and she's playing with a lot of confidence so far this evening with the only one that's uh, been able to put one on the scoreboard so far. This has got to be uh, the Raiders' top line with Gaffney, Colvard, and Abraham as they've had the majority of the scoring chances tonight for the Raiders as Gaffney sends one out through center, picked off there by the Titans and into the end there. Now the Raiders, Abraham, this is Nicole Abraham up through center. And this one's going to go for icing on the Raiders. 10.06 left to play here, second period. Raiders off to a 1-0 lead on a goal by Colvard for the Raiders. Faceoff will come to the left of Pearson. The Stars could use a, a big win here and a shot on net. Unfortunately, the Raiders again win the draw. They look to break out through center with some speed. Down into the corner. That one's sent out front. It ping-pongs around, and Campbell's able to gather her up. A lot of speed. Elena Wall came into the Stars' end, and... Never a bad play to just throw it out front, especially when there's that much traffic. Oh, and especially when you you know, dominated the shot total 28-7 and you dominated and kept the puck in, in North Tartan zone the entire evening. I mean, just keep peppering it. I mean, it doesn't even matter. Just flick it out there or slap. I mean, it doesn't matter what kind of shot you're putting on there because the, the North Tartan girls, their back's been on, uh, against the wall the whole evening so far. Battle in the corner here now as the puck's tied up. And out with it was Bellos, and she breaks out. Just off the mark. And at center. As they battle a neutral zone here. Yeah, eventually. Uh, and this is the North Tartan girls are just going to need a break. They're going to need a, you know, catch a break, if you will. Yeah, absolutely. The, Bounces have gone, for the most part, in the way of the Raiders. As now through center ice, this is Abraham with some speed, but it's cut off nicely there by Piercy. And now Piercy looks to break out. And really sends one out front that's knocked down there. And now the Stars here through center ice. Send one in deep. That was Jenna Young. Jaden Young, excuse me. Now the Raiders looking to set up. And a good back check there by the Stars. That was a great hustle play by Tara Bigley there to break that up because that was uh, one of Roseville's big shooters there, um, Allison really, and she was ready to wind up and she had an open look and there was a good chance she was going to cash in on that one there, Jeff. Now through center, picked off there nicely by Bigley. Bigley sends one out front, never makes its way in on Pearson. And the puck bounces into the corner. Now in hard after it is Langevin. And it's sent back up the half wall. Through center ice, back the other way. This is the base for the Raiders. The base in nicely but unable to get a shot off on Campbell. 
And now Jordan Jackson looks to set something up for the Stars. Jackson very calm with the puck, got great hands. One of the key players to watch for the North Tartan Stars as Jackson in through center, looking to make something out of nothing here. And it's knocked off her stick. Back the other way come the Raiders. A nice hustle play by Chokos there. And now the puck on the half wall. Sent in here by the Stars. And now hard after it. Incidental contact there, no call on the play. And up through center, this is Wall. And shot off the mark, excuse me, that was Deestad. And Gaffney down in the corner, sends it all the way back. Shot from the point, tipped out front, and Campbell is able to corral. Nice job on the redirect. Yeah, nice job once again, just staying poised. Stay in focus, keeping an eye on the puck, and uh, making these uh, these shots look easy to, to stop. 29 to seven, halfway through the second period. That's the shot total in the way of the Raiders. The North Tartan Stars trying to get something established here, just looking for a break. Campbell's played fantastic thus far. It's given them a chance to win. If they can just find a way to beat Pearson on the other end. You know, I think the biggest thing I'm seeing in this, you know, kind of the first period into the second is uh, North Tartan's going to have to figure out and find somebody else that can skate with with, uh, with Jordan Jackson because she's the only one that's been able to kind of create and, and do some things on the offensive end. So, you know, somebody's going to have to kind of skate with her and, and, and figure out if they can, uh, you know, get a bounce here or there and uh, tie this game up. Actually, actually. Absolutely, if I could talk here, that uh, the great point because Jackson's been certainly initiating, trying to get something going. But it looks like a lot of the other gals are having a hard time deciding who's going to step up. The Raiders putting some pressure on here. North Tartan looking to clear. This one's going to get out of the zone and give them a chance to possibly get a change. They're held up there now, back to play it is grease cans for North Tartan. Turned over out front, a shot and a goal. The Raiders strike on the fatigue of the Stars. That was senior defenseman Catherine Larson. First goal of the season. I believe she was might have been set up there by Allison really who uh, had the assist on the first goal, but I have to see the replay. Take another look here as the Stars were just Heavily fatigued and the Raiders just a matter of time before they were gonna have a chance to catch Campbell down. Now back the other way, Chokos unable to hang on there as the Raiders really comes in again with speed. Shot blocked there. Second shot, big save by Campbell. Raiders hold the, the zone here. And now back the other way, this is Piercy for the Stars. She sends it in deep and gives chase. Good hustle by Piercy. That's turned over nicely by the Raiders as they come out through center. And that's bounced around a bit. And now sent in by Arnold off the mark for Gaffney. And back the other way, Bigley for the Stars. As Chokos gives chase. Held it in the zone there, now bounced out through center. Ping ponged around, Chokos battling hard. And Chokos tries to send one over. Unable to get a stick on it. it was Langevin, but a near opportunity there for the Stars. Chokos sends it in deep. And they get off for a quick change. Definitely been uh, encouraging to see how they respond after they get a goal scored on them here this evening, Jeb. But these uh, girls could just, you know, kind of skate this hard throughout the game and and kind of try to keep it even and try to, you know, force some shots on 
on Roseville's end. But um, like I said, you got to be happy with how they respond. Uh, diversity, but um, you know they need to figure out a way to kind of get a spark here when it's um, when it's even. Setting it up here now as Jackson loses the handle. Tough break there, and Gaffney the other way tries to send one in, easily steered away by Campbell. Now Gaffney again tries to wake, make her way out towards the net. Jordan Jackson down in the corner. And Gaffney for the Raiders is there. The Stars come out through neutral. And it's turned over nicely there by Wall, but the Raiders were in offsides. Stopping the action. 2.40 left to play. The Raiders lead it two to nothing thus far. You know, Jordan Jackson made a, made a mistake there, you know, kind of one of the first ones she's made this evening by turning the puck over there, but um, she made it look easy how, how she was able to, you know, respond back and, and get back on the defensive end. It was, it was really impressive, and it shows how talented a skater she is. Yeah, absolutely. A nice recovery, and in all reality, she was trying to make something out of what's kind of been a lot of limited opportunities tonight so you can't falter for trying to create some scoring chances for the stars back at it here stick popped up and out of the zone well, a good whistle there is a nice cover by campbell as the stick was knocked out of the hands of marissa hawkins and the north tartan stars were a bit short-handed there for a minute well one stat here we uh I just noticed here, Jeb, is uh, we went into the uh, second period with Roseville out shooting uh, North Tartan 15 to seven, and now it's 35 seven. So North Tartan hasn't put a shot on net this period, and uh, Roseville's put on 20. So um, you know the girls from North Tartan should be very thankful that they're actually still in this game with a whole period to play yet. Absolutely, it'd be interesting to see how. Uh, Pearson, the netminder for the Raiders, uh, is able to react. It's sitting on the other end of the ice here with no action here thus far in the second period. It'll be interesting to see when the, the Stars do uh, get that next shot on net. Oh yeah, she could definitely be suspect to a uh, a cheap one, and um, you know, for Tartan North to get a cheap one here before the end of the second period to go in down two to one, being outshot by this margin would definitely uh, you know kind of inspire and maybe give uh, that locker room a little energy coming out for the third. Certainly, huge confidence builder. That one never made it to the net. As the Raiders out of the attacking corner here, they battle for it. And it's set down and around and out to play it. Up the half wall, held in by the Raiders. And they try to make their way out front. And Chokaw sends it through center. A nice defensive play by Abraham to hold the zone. Sent in and knocked to the down behind the net by Campbell. And now out of the corner, Larson for the Raiders. Back to Campbell, tipped out front. Campbell able to get a pad on it. And now. Sent all the way back, thrown out front, never made its way in on net. And again, Abraham. And this one comes through center, no icing. Cole Abraham back to play it, sends it up. Gaffney touches it in. And Kovar gives chase for the Raiders. Gaffney from the half wall. Didn't get much of a shot on it, but Nevertheless, Campbell able to hold on. Yeah, Campbell did a nice job kind of, you know, reacting and, and, and judging to, to kind of see what angle was going to come in at and was in a position to uh, make an easy save. Just under a half a minute left to play here in the second period. North Tartan trying to get out of this period just down by a couple. Played across the blue line, down behind the net now. Gaffney's there battling with Piercy. Piercy comes away with it through neutral. Tries to get it deep. Onto the stick. And unable to make its way in on Pearson. And that'll do it. 
Yeah, same old story as the uh, first period that Jeb is. North, uh, North Tartan's gonna have to figure out how to find some offense in that locker room uh, in between periods and, and hope that um, Madeline Campbell isn't burnt out and can um, continue to stand on her head like she's been doing all evening. So after two, the Raiders lead it two to nothing. We'll be back after this. Sometimes all it takes to be a dad is remembering how to be a kid again. Take time to be a dad today. And welcome back to Tartan Arena here in Oakdale as we get set for our third period. The Raiders from Roseville still holding on to a 2 nothing lead as they were dominant in the second period there, Corey. Yeah, they've been dominant this entire game and uh, fortunate for the North Tartan girls here, they're still in it. Uh, thanks to their goalie, uh, Madeline Campbell, and, and uh, you know, get a bounce here, bounce there, continue to skate hard, and they might make this a game right up to the uh, final whistle. Abraham sends one in wide of the net. As the North Tartan gals look to try to break the shutout here, posted by Pearson thus far. as an opportunity back the other way. Two on one for North Tartan sent in. Pearson with a save, a rebound, they score! Class for the North Tartan Co-op. And we got ourselves a 2-1 game early yep. on in the third period. Yeah, just like we said right out of the break there, Jeb, is, uh, you know, I mean, they've been dominant, dominated the whole game. You've got uh, Langenville skates it in. Goalie can't make a glove save on it. Ball, uh, the puck's bouncing around, and uh, Kokus was able to tip it in for the easy Easy goal, now it's a one goal game, even though they've been outshot 36 to nine. So it might go right down the wire here, Jeff. Great timing for the North Tartan gals as Chokos with the rebound there was able to beat Pearson. And just as we talked about, that could be a, certainly a momentum builder for the North Tartan co-op squad as the Raiders are right back at it. Sent in there, never made its way on net. As Jackson was able to knock it down, Chokos sends it into the Raider end, and this one will make its way down for icing there. Yeah, going into the uh, into the break there, we were, we were saying as we were uh, going off the air, uh, the North Tartan girls got to figure out how to how to find some uh, offense here, and I'm not sure what uh, Coach First and and Coach uh, Thurston said there, but um, they must have found something in that locker room to. Uh, Find some fire out of the gates here in the third period. Now into the corner as Piercy goes after it, looks to break out. Knocks back there, Piercy down behind her own net. And she'll send it back around. Schiller now back to Piercy. And up the half wall as the Raiders put on the pressure. North Tartan now able to elude the zone and this one will make it down the length of the ice. Icing called on North Tartan. And we'll have a faceoff back just to the left at Madeline Campbell. Yeah, if, uh, if North Tartan can figure out a, a way to um, you know tie this game up and possibly even come back and win, it'd be a great win for this uh, program that's just kind of coming together and it'd be um, you know give this, these young girls a lot of confidence as they're uh, growing together as a as kind of a newfound team, um, you know. As the season's this early, it would just uh, be a very good spark for this um, this this run that these girls are going to be on here for this uh, this winter. Puck sent in the length of the ice, no icing on the play. North Tartan back to play it. This one comes out through neutral zone and back to play it as Abraham and D to D, and now North Tartan trying to advance the zone. This one comes out. Raiders will have to tag up. And it's sent up through neutral. And right back in by the Raiders, Larson. D to D pass for North Tartan. Good breakout out of the zone here as with speed comes Bellos. She loses the handle there. And now through center and Gaffney for the Raiders picks it up. 
And Gaffney in, sends a, a flip shot on, easily held on by Campbell. Yeah, it was good to see that Campbell kind of, you know, read a puck kind of going up above her waist and around her head, and she was able to jump out of that crouch and um, and make a make a, a save up high. And we had a correction, too, in the second period. We were referring to the North Tartan co-op team as the, the East Metro Stars, and we are made aware they have not quite figured out exactly what their, their mascot is here as this, we're obviously only in the third game of their uh, new existence. So correction there, they're not the, not the stars, at least as of yet. Back at it here, Chokos, the goal scorer for North Tartan, sends it in deep. And Gaffney plays it up the wall for the Raiders. Off the mark there, Chokos again inside. Sends a backhand in that's easily gathered there by Pearson. Yeah, that was Chokos' second goal of the season. She scored, I believe, in their opener against Burnsville in that 3-1 loss um, in the first game of the season. Face off just to the left of Pearson. 13-31 left to play here in the third period. The Raiders lead it 2-1. And a goal by Colvard and a goal by Chokoff. And now back, Abraham behind her own net. Sends it up on the half wall, now through center. This is Wall. And Wall gets it in deep. Sends one out front just off the mark. And Abraham sends it down off the half wall. And that one never made it in on Campbell. North Tartan tips up through center. Another two-on-one opportunity here. And a bouncing puck has him in offside, so we'll have a quick stoppage in play. Yeah, I think it's, uh, you know, for Roseville, you know, they need to continue just playing their game. I mean, they were up 2-0, uh, but they were probably playing the game that was deserving of a four- or five-goal lead. But now that... Uh, North Tartan's made this close all of a sudden, you know, they might be playing a little more anxious even though they don't need to. They just need to continue to play their game that's worked for uh, a majority of this contest here this evening. Absolutely. Great point there. It's, if it wasn't for the stellar play of Campbell, uh, like you said, this would be a much higher margin. But nevertheless, it's 2-1. Mm -hmm. See how this one comes down to the wire. At neutral ice here, both teams battle. And North Tartan comes away with it. And up through center, that one just off the mark. That's going to go all the way down for icing. 12.08 left to play. Shots 39 to 10 in the way of the Raiders. But the uh, North Tartan girls came out of that locker room with a lot of energy and a lot of fire here. And, um, you know, I think, um, I think, I believe this is their first home game of the season. They played a couple a couple road games that started off. So I think it's, you know, kind of important. I think they kind of got the idea that, you know, that, hey, we're still in this. Let's come out and skate hard in front of our home fans. You know, new group coming together, and let's see if we can't steal one here in the third period. Puck played up the wall there. Langevin sends it across ice. Here's Chokos again. Shot in on. Blocker saved by Pearson. A smart play by Chokos to just send one in there. As she used the Raider defense as a screen. And now all the way back in her own end. This is Piercy. Piercy comes through center. Three on two opportunity. North Tartan sends it out. It's knocked down by Abraham. She pushed it just a little too far. Smart play there by the North Tartan defense. Colbeck, as a two-on-one opportunity was broken up there by the heads-up play by Colbeck. Yeah, absolutely. She could have definitely found herself in a situation there, you know, disadvantaged and kind of skating back on her heels and doing whatever she can to possibly help out her goaltender. But, yeah, smart, witty play. Now Chokos on the half wall, sends it up through center, just out of the reach for meter. And Abraham sends it up the length of the ice, off the mark of Izzy Larson, and this one will go for icing on the Raiders. Faceoff will come just to the right 
of the netminder Pearson. Yeah, North Tartan hasn't had many faceoffs in the uh, Roseville zone, so it's going to be important here to maybe, maybe win a rare faceoff here and um, see if you can't, um, you know, create a little opportunity and uh, get a bounce here or there. Grace does just that, wins the draw. The North Tartan unable to get a shot down on net. They do send it deep and look to set up the offense. Comes all the way back. Jackson's there to play it low. They try to go back up top, but that one comes all the way out and back to play it is Colshaw Klein over to Jackson. Jackson through center and turned over there. And now back to play it for the Raiders is Capetti. And now this one bounces through neutral. Kicked in off of the pads there of Bigley and she gives chase. Sent all the way around now, this is Bigley. Back up top, sent into the corner. And Bigley again. And now off the half wall there. Tough play there, but good back check by North Tartan. And the Raiders are forced to dump it in and change. Sent down behind the net, and now Colshaw Klein back, plays it up the half wall. Back through neutral, this is Abraham. Nicole Abraham plays it up to Colvard. And Colvard in hard down around the corner, shot. Nice job by Campbell to gather that one and hold on. One thing I've kind of seen develop here throughout the uh, game is the size disadvantage. I mean, uh, Roseville seems to have a, a lot bigger players, a lot bigger girls than the uh, North, and I think that's kind of affected how North keeps the puck in Roseville zone because they just can't match up with body, and it's they pretty much just get pushed off the puck and, and lose possession. So they're kind of going to have to bank on those little, you know, bing bang type goals, you know, uh, one shots because they're not going to be able to hold the puck in Roseville zone this evening. Through center here, this one never makes it in on Campbell. It comes all the way back out. Nicole Abraham back in her own end. Tries to go up the half wall. It's cut off there by North Tartan. And Hawkins in on the corner. And Bellos is in as well as they battle on the half wall there. Held in nicely by Greaskins. But Nicole Abraham behind her own net comes out through center. Just off the mark, Greaskins sends it in. And it's turned over again. Greaskins now looking to play the puck off to the half wall. Sent into the corner here, out front, shot right on, and Campbell's there to hold on yet again. 8.06 left to play in the third period here. North Tartan co-op trying to find the equalizer here. Who's gonna be the hero? early on to this 2015 season, trying to find an identity. Two on one opportunity here, back the other way, meter over to Gochkoff, and Chokloss unable to get a handle on it, a tough break there for North Tartan. Chokloss sends it out front, bounced around in front of Pearson. And yeah, now that was into a situation, the I believe, where, where meter was just uh, almost too much of a teammate, maybe should have just uh, kept that puck and and put a nice strong shot on net instead of trying to dish it off. I couldn't agree more. Uh, power play opportunity coming for the North Tartan Co-op as Catherine Larson was forced to take down Jordan Jackson as she came out of the zone with speed. And we'll see the North Tartan Co-op power play for the first time here tonight with just under seven and a half minutes left to play. Yeah, we're not sure still how this game's going to turn out this evening. You know, I mean, it's still 2-1, seven and a half minutes left. But, you know, a few months from now when we get to section, you know, playoff time, it'll be interesting to see if these two teams meet up again and how much, you know, the North Tartan girls have gelled because they haven't really been out skated. They've just been kind of outmaneuvered. You know, it's like Roseville, those girls playing together, probably in youth 
ages and, and, and growing up through the years and now, you know, a couple years of high school, and a lot of these girls half have played together, you know, growing up and half haven't. And now you kind of mesh them together, you know, and you kind of do it in a few weeks and now a few games. And um, like I said, I think that's the biggest thing that's uh, hindering the North Tartan girls right now is just that um, that fluid motion together, you know, right. like playing as one. Yeah, finding the gel. I think you, you touched on it exactly. You can see it tonight that, you know, even even that last play there where, you know, he elected to, to try to dish it off to, to Choklos and, you know, was it the right play? You know, I think, uh, you know, I think Meter might have been better off yeah. actually putting one in on net as Pearson hasn't seen a lot of shots here tonight and, you know, was kind of bailed out by the uh, uh, unselfishness yeah. and, of Meter. And Meter's only a freshman, you know, so it's one of those things where she might not have that killer instinct, if you will, to just kind of, you know, put that puck in the back of the net and was kind of thinking I better dish it off to one of our, you know, veteran leadership players here and uh, see if she can seal the deal. So Langevin will take the draw here as we come out of the timeout. The head coach, Ali Thunstrom and Nick First elected to slow things down. Tough break here as Gaffney turns the puck over. Jackson's back for North Tartan. Shot right on is saved and out of the sight of the officials. And therefore we get a quick whistle. Good break for North Tartan as Campbell made the first save and Gaffney was working hard to try to knock the rebound in and I think the officials lost sight and therefore we got a quick whistle. Face off is won by North Tartan's Langevin and now Jackson sets up behind her own net. And out of the zone comes North Tartan. They look to set up the power play. Bounced around and sent down the length of the ice from Gaffney. And back to pick it up is Jackson for North Tartan. Trying to get something set up here. Needs some support as Roseville holds it in. They're offside, so they'll have to tag up. Now back behind her own net. This is Piercy. Piercy sends it up through center. Gamble there is won by Nicole Abraham, and she sends one in wide of the net. North Tartan trying to get something established here, but unable to get into the zone. Now Chokos in, gains the zone hard into the corner. Abraham's on her, and the support comes in by Langevin. Sent all the way back, hard shot right on. Chokos on the rebound, unable to get a handle on it. What a good solid shot by Jackson. Jackson again has it knocked away at the blue line and North Tartan will have to regroup. And now Langevin has it knocked off her stick. And Abraham sends it down the length of the ice. 15 seconds left in the power play for North Tartan. 5.38 left to play as they trail by one here late in the third period. Now up through center and North Tartan comes in hard and played off nicely by the Roseville defense. Roseville back at full strength. Tough break here. We've got another power play coming for North Tartan as there was some contact. They send it in and the whistle there. Wait to see, looks like we've got Checking call gonna go against number 12, Katherine Larson, her second penalty here tonight. Yeah, it's unfortunate the uh, North Tartan girls didn't really get any good scoring looks there on that last power play, but you know, it's kind of one of those ironic things how games develop and, and transpire, how, you know, Roseville's kind of dominant, you know, they've dominated this game and now they're sitting here with a one goal lead with five minutes left and now they're making foolish penalties and putting themselves in in, uh, in a situation and just let this game uh, really slip out of their hands. Jackson with a nice hold at the blue line, but on the second attempt, Gaffney is able to send it down the length of the ice. Piercy back to play for North Tartan. Down around her own net with speed, no call on the play. A blatant trip there, and the officials let one get away. Fan base not too happy with the missed call. 
Yeah, then I saw Jackson in the corner there get a little physical with Gaffney. Just because you didn't get, catch a break and get the call, you know, go your way doesn't mean you get chippy and, and, and kind of hurt your team in, in the same sense, you know. Shot right on by Chokos, knocked away by Pearson. Now Jackson holds the zone. Some stick handling by Meter. Right now set down around and unable to get over to hold the zone. Yeah, Claire Meter for being a freshman here for this North Tartan Club. Um, you know, she's definitely had her name called a few times and, you know, looks like she's definitely a player on the rise this season and uh, a bright future in this program. Jackson trying to advance the zone, unable, and now sent in here. Carried in by Bellows. Bellows sends it down into the corner and Bigley gives chase. North Tartan trying to establish some offense here. Bellows out of the corner, sends one wide. And Bigley's over there. They try to go back to the defense. It's picked off there and sent the length of the ice. 20 seconds left in the man advantage. Just under three and a half minutes left to play. North Tartan looking for the equalizer. Running out of time. Opportunity here as they come in. Shot right on wide of the net by Bigley. And now sent back to the point. That one bounced around and into the corner. Bigley and Bellows play catch. Now Bigley down in the corner. And the Raiders out through neutral zone with speed. And a nice move here, but unable to get to the to the net, a nice job there by Larson. Nifty little stick handling and unable to finish. Yeah, and her goal is the one that stands as the winner right now. Uh, Catherine Larson scored her first goal of the season in the second period, and that's what they, uh, they're holding on to with that 2-1 lead. Abraham in for the Raiders, sends it into the corner. North Tartan needs to have a little urgency here as Jordan Jackson tries to spring Chokos there, but a nice defensive play by the Raiders as Jackson got it as far as the Raiders zone. Now Colvard back the other way, sends one high and a nice save by Campbell through yeah, they, the screen. They definitely had the right combination there, you know, kind of their best puck handler, skater. Maybe another opportunity here, Jeff. Meter sends one in and it's held on by Pearson as Chokos a little jump in her step. She's been quick tonight. Oh, absolutely. I mean, like, that's what the combination they had there with Jackson kind of handling the puck and waiting for her to break away. But, uh, you know, Roseville defense stood strong and was able to tip the puck away. So North Tartan trying to answer, tie this one up. Just under two minutes left to play. They've certainly played with some grit here in the final period of tonight's game. This one sent out from the corner, bounced around. Now picked up and brought into the zone by the Raiders. Hard into the corner is Reilly. It comes all the way back to Abraham. Abraham sends one in. Blocker saved by Campbell. And now North Tartan looks to break out. And they do through neutral zone. Into the zone. Unable to make a play there. It's turned over and now back the other way for the Raiders. Is DeBase, she sends it in and they change. Fresh legs late. Just over a minute left to play the final period. North Tartan trying to answer here late. And the Raiders send it out front. Knocked down there, North Tartan's Gonna have to get in deep and possibly pull the netminder. Langevin battles on the half wall. It's able to clear. Langevin with some speed. She's got Chokos heading to the net. Shot on and Pearson knocks it into the corner. Down behind their net. The Raiders are able to play it. A nice job of clearing the zone there. And now sent down. Empty net for North Tartan, 22 seconds left. Maybe a final rush here, Jordan Jackson through center. Jackson fires, big knock down there by the defender. Nice job by Capetti to get in the way of Jackson's shot. 
And that's going to do it, folks. The last chance effort by Jackson was tipped up and out of play. And the Raiders come in to Tartan Arena and steal one tonight. Let's take a look here, Jeb, at the three goals scored this evening. First one was by uh, junior forward, Ciara Kovard. The second one was by a senior defenseman, Katherine Larson, her first goal of the season. And then North Tartan made it a game here in the third period with a nice tap in by junior forward Maddie uh, Kokos. But uh, I think the story of the night was um, was Madeline Campbell. I mean, 42 saves, 44 shots. You know, kept this team, you know, in the game throughout the whole night. You know, Roseville all played them, and Tartan played hard and made it a game. And I think, um, you know, I think when it came down to it, I think this is just a, a you know, a nice rewarding just effort from this North Tartan group. And uh, I'm looking forward to seeing how they develop throughout the season. Absolutely. I thought they came out and played fantastic in that, uh, that third period. I mean, you touched on it. They had no shots on net throughout the entire second period. So to come out and uh, establish some momentum, get on the board, break the shutout, and really, you know, Roseville's on their heels the rest of the game. North Tartan uh, was right there. So, unfortunately, came up short. Tonight's final, the Raiders from Roseville come in and take one, two to one. We'll be back after this.